everyone, Zeddy here again with another Fall Alder mini card set review, mini set card. I was mine. We got Yog. Yog is now a Titan. It's kind of not what I was expecting, honestly. We'll go over that. There's some other neutral cards, and our giveaway is going on for two mini sets out of my pocket. It includes Yog. Get in there, get in there. All you have to do to get into that giveaway, like and comment in the video description below. Be subscribed to the channel. We hit 73,000 subs by the time the mini set comes out. I will add another mini set to the giveaway. So hit that sub button, make me go broke. I really quickly, before we get into the cards, I wanted to give a big shout out to Daily Hearthstone Funny Moments channel. I've been featured on countless times. I was even in their like 2000th episode, did a friendly duel. They're gone, they're done. Um, they just feel like it's not worth doing the channel anymore. Views dwindling, all that stuff. Um, check out their video. They did like a compilation of like some of the best moments ever. And I just wanted to give a big shout out to them because they were a big part of the community. It's really sad to see them go, but you know, nothing lasts forever. And uh, yeah, big shout out to them. Anyways, the new cards and there's more than just Yogg. We have some other neutrals, including the Prison Breaker, a four mana, four, four rare battle cry. If you cast five or more spells this game, we see a trend going on here with some of these cards. Uh, deal three damage to all enemies. That goes face, right? Um, it doesn't hit your own stuff. It's like Dustbreaker, but you gotta play five spells. So most classes cannot do that all that quickly. Uh, the exceptions being like, like a Miracle Priest, a Druid, a uh, Rogue, obviously. You could Shadow Step this and it's gonna be active and all of that. It's a decent card. Um, not as amazing as you would think in Arena. Casting five spells usually takes a while, unless you're a Mage. So depending on your Arena build, um, certainly a thing. And you could do a Shutterwalk combo, right? You've cast five spells in Wild with Shaman. Your Shutterwalk will recast this too. So I don't think it's a meta player, but it could be in certain fringe decks. I'm actually gonna give it a three in standard. I feel like some decks might be able to utilize this. I'm probably a little bit on the copium, hopium, whatever you wanna call it. It's probably not a ladder card, but I'll give it a three in standard and a two in wild. It, I think it has like a shot. I really, really do kind of. By the way, look at this weird bug. We have the Eye of Chaos. It looks like a legendary with like the dragon thing there, but it's got the epic and there, there's, there's only one epic per mini set. There's only four legendaries per expansion. We already got the two neutrals. We'll look at Yogg in a bit. We have Warrior and I feel like Priest might have one, even though I say, um, stay tuned for that. I feel like Priest might have one. Uh, but yes, the Eye of Chaos, a five mana, five, four battle cry. You add two chaotic tendrils to your hand. So is that good? We really don't know. Like it really depends on the chaotic tendrils, how strong they are but it's a way for every class to generate two more of them to keep ramping them up, get that value. I feel like Rogue is a class that might be able to use it, right? They already have that three damage spell that adds a tendril to your hand. You have Shadow Step, all the bounce effects. I feel like if any class is gonna make tendril a thing, it'd be war, uh, Rogue and even that five mana, five, four, very expensive. Uh, you're not even getting premium stats, which is weird in today's day and age, right? Like everything has premium stats plus upside. I just, I, I can't evaluate these tendrils without playing them and how it feels. And overall, I don't think they feel good enough, no matter what, playing a five mana five, four to get more of them, but you can play two of these, get four more total, right? That starts amping up. But again, those spells can just backfire. It's only one, one spell per cast, unless you play like Bran or whatever. I'm gonna give it a two out of five in Standard and Wild. I'm not sold on the Tendril stuff, but we'll see. It, it, they're really pushing it. There's tons of Tendril cards, but we also have like the Adventure cards back in the day, but those were just terrible. There were two mana two twos that did very little. These are one mana one ones that could possibly steal games. So th there's a possible upside for it. But lastly, we got, we got Yogg. I believe the first ever 15 mana minion. Correct me if I'm wrong. It might be the first ever 15 mana minion. I, I can't think of one off the top of my head. I know we've had 13. I don't believe we've had 14, but 15, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I know we've had 20 and 12, 13. Anyways, let me know if I'm wrong about that. But yes, Yogg, the neutral Titan, a 15 mana 7-5. It costs one less for each spell you've cast this game. So that basically played 15 spells, Yogg, cost zero and you can see his abilities up here 
again, if you don't know how Titans work, you get to pick a, an ability right away. Y'all cannot attack until all the abilities have been used. And if he has Wind Fury, he can play two, two and all that. We're probably pretty familiar with it. Anyways, first ability, force each minion to attack a random enemy minion. So just smack each other. They just It's like mass hysteria, but one-sided. They just smack the crap out of each other. So likely a good shot of that being a board clear. We have take control of an enemy minion. So it's just mind control attached to Yogg. That could be really powerful. And it's not even random. What are they doing? It should be a random enemy minion. It's Yogg. Why is this not random? I get to select it. I'm upset. I want a random with my Yogg, although being able to pick it makes it a lot better, right? And then of course, I I, I, I had to figure this was gonna have happen. This is the this is the big payoff, I think, for the card outside of the AoE, which is pretty good. I mean, they're all decent effects, but th the random, the crazy one, fill your hand with one, one chaotic tendrils. So say you have zero mana, it's zero mana Yogg, you got 10 mana and you have an empty hand. It's your only card. You play this, you get 10 one ones. Each one's going to cast a random spell to its cost. I believe it caps at 10 mana and then yeah, Yoggers. Who knows what happens, right? I feel like it's worse than just casting, you know, the amount of spells you've cast this game, right? 15, the old Yogg. Um, I feel like like it's a decent value option, but he's a good like uh, AOE style tool. Any deck that runs a bunch of spells probably just slots this card into it because it, it, it can just clear the board. It can steal a minion and you can get a bunch of value, a bunch of tokens. Again, I feel like Rogue, Tendril Rogue might be a thing. That's a class that could absolutely do it. Maybe Druid, they got all the spells in the world too. Um, dude, I'm gonna play Triple Yogg in Wild. I am telling you right now, Triple Yogg, Yogg location. There's so much Yoggers going on, but how good is the card? Well, it's unlike the other, I mean, all the Yoggs have been pretty spell dependent. This one is more spell dependent, I think, than ever. You really need to probably get this out for relatively cheap, but 15 doesn't take a lot that long for a lot of classes. So uh, as an overall, if you're playing like even control where you're kind of, I don't know. Anyways, you're playing a spell heavy deck. I think you're running Yogg. It, it, again, it's defensive, it's value. It could just scam the game possibly. It doesn't have that whole like box element. It doesn't have the just cast spells outside of the, you know, the tendrils, which if you've been ramping up is really good. Um, or not, it could go back back on you. I'm gonna give it four to five in standard. It's just a card I feel like any deck that's relatively spell heavy will love to play and um, give you defensive options, value, all of that. And in wild, I'll give it a three. Druid has so much you could do with this. You play that Miracle Druid, right? You play so many spells for like nothing in those formats. Um, I gotta give it a playable mark in, in wild, even though it's probably not that great there, but it has a shot. Horrible arena pick, by the way. So yeah, the Yogg Titan. We finally have a neutral Titan. Yogg is back. Let me know what you guys think about in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.